Well, of course, there were many other influences, but I think the one that has changed my playing just by showing me one thing is the most significant, and that is Leo Kotke. So I have not played a lot of his music, uh, and uh, only met him a few times, and but it was one day that we were backstage, and this was just after his 12-string guitar had gotten stolen, and he was playing a six-string for the first time in a long time. He was doing his shows in a six-string, mm -hmm. and as we were backstage, he asked me, well, how do you get that great tone on a, a six-string guitar? And I showed him how I did my nails and sanded them really smooth, and then the, the angle uh, on the nail, and right away, he got it. He got a great tone, and, and, and then I asked him, well, how do you get that percolating bass sound that only you can get? So he's got this very unique sound in his bass. It's just an incredible feel. And then he showed me what he does is he stops the string with this part of his thumb or with that part of his thumb after he plays it. And so I played it like, like this, and boy, that was just really different from anything I'd ever done before. And uh, it took a while to work out, but then I realized that instead of doing this uh, muffled bass here, to, where I was relegated to this sound in my trebles, I could have a stop bass here and have this sound in my trebles. So that's more the sound I wanted in the melody notes. And so that's why for most of my playing, I will do this stopped bass, this Leo Kotke bass, uh, even that tune, Mr. Chester, I was actually just writing that tune about that time, that same time, and uh, then all of a sudden, once I got that feel where I could stop it from ringing each time, then I got the, the tone that I wanted in the melody notes. So uh, that's one reason why my playing sounds quite a bit different from Chet's, uh, because I'm using the Kotke technique on the bass notes. So I'd recommend to check out some of Leo Kotke's recordings if you're not already familiar with it, because it's different from anything else you'll ever hear. And if I'm listening to the radio or something, I can pick out Leo Kotke uh, more easily than just about anyone else. Very distinctive sound, uh, a cool sound. And also he has this kind of funky sense of humor <laughs> that weaves in and out of his music uh, that you'll catch pretty quickly. So, uh, so do check out his recordings as well.